Hello, Pixlr Photoshoppers. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to replace the color of objects like you see on screen. You're going to create a sample that looks very similar to this one. So in this tutorial, you're going to learn uh, some other tips as well. So make sure to pay attention to everything I do. I'm going to show you other techniques of opening images and how to resize images once they're in the Pixlr canvas. So the first thing we need is uh, a vehicle. And I want you to use a vehicle because there's going to be some tips and skills and things I teach you uh, about the color replace tool. So go ahead and find a vehicle you like. And you can't use a black car or a white car because it doesn't work on black or white. Okay, so I'm going to look up a red vehicle um, or yellow vehicle. Yellow works really well. When you're looking for photos, also keep in mind the size of the photo is on the bottom left here. And let's try this one. Okay. So whatever color you pick, make sure it's not white or black because it won't work. So when you click on the image, keep in mind, always go to view image. Okay. So here's a different way to open up an image on Pixlr Photo Editor. You can click on the address, the URL. This is called a URL. You right click and copy it. Then open a new tab and go to pixlr.com slash editor. This time, we're not going to log in or do anything like that. We're just going to click on Create a New Image, and the title, Color Replace Sample, first and last name, leave the preset on 800 by 600, okay, and leave all these other things alone. Click OK. <clears throat> Some tips. If you don't see the file edit image um, do what I just did pull the tab out and then leave it by itself okay if that still doesn't work pull the tab down again grab the right side of the window and adjust it like that okay and make sure you work in full screen like this uh, because you'll need the workspace so we need to take that picture of that car and place it on our canvas. Um, before I do that, in the navigator on the left side here, I'm going to click this slider and slide it down a little bit so I can see the entire canvas. Then I'm going to go to the layer menu and I'm going to open the image URL as a layer. Click that. You're going to get this menu that pops up. Make sure you delete whatever's in there and then right click and paste and then click OK. And it should load. So this might happen to you. Your picture is going to be either too big, like how you see here, or too small. So we need to resize that image. In the edit menu, there's this tool called Free Transform. Click on Free Transform and you will see these little blue squares pop up around the image. On the keyboard, hold down shift and then grab the top left corner and move the mouse down to the right like how I'm doing. And then let go of shift and move your picture up so that you can see the whole vehicle. And for this, we're going to make it about a quarter of the size of the canvas because we're going to have different colored ones in each corner. So this is a good size right here on this side. And once I have a good size, press enter or just click off of it and then yes. In the layers menu, the layers window right over here, layer one is here. So I can check that on and off to see where that is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the layer. So I'm going to right click. Oops. I just made a mistake, so check this out. History, go up one. It'll undo the last thing you just did. So right click on that layer, 
duplicate the layer. It's going to say layer one copy. In the tools on the left, click on the move tool and drag by clicking and dragging that layer one copy to the right. <clears throat> and then do the same thing. Duplicate that layer, drag it down, duplicate this layer, drag it over here. Okay. So now we're on this layer, which is the bottom left. I'm going to take the slider in the navigator and zoom in and move my mouse over to this red square and drag that so that I can only see this layer. Okay. Now we're going to change the yellow to a different color. Move your mouse over to the color replace tool right here. Take a moment to find it. Click on the color replace tool and then move your mouse to the color uh, selector. Click on that. In web I'm going to click on blue. And you can do whatever color you want um, as long as all three colors are different. So I clicked on blue, then I click on OK. And my brush is at size 50, which is fine. Click off of that. And the trick with this is once I click on the yellow surface of the car, I can't let go of the mouse button. So then I can paint it, and only the yellow parts will be painted. Okay. If I let go of the mouse button and then I click on a different part of the vehicle and try to paint it, you see that streak right there that's happening? That's because it's it's not recognizing that yellow. Now, you might think, hey, that's kind of cool. But if I took my car to a paint shop and I wanted to repaint it all blue, and there were streaks in it like this, I wouldn't like that. So the point of this is to teach you the color replace tool and to change the vehicle, the entire color of the vehicle. So click and hold down and paint the vehicle. Okay, like this. Okay. And it'll only paint where you start the color that you start on and then move your mouse to the navigator grab the red box move it over to the right and that should be this layer right here check it on and off to make sure you're on the right layer you need to be that layer needs to be selected otherwise it won't work change the color to something else I wonder what it'll look like red click and same thing if you're using the touchpad, you can use your left hand to hold down the mouse button and use your right finger to paint. Move my mouse up to the top. Click on this layer. Check that on and off to make sure I'm on the right layer. Change the color. How about green? Click and hold down and paint. If you miss any spots, if you miss, like, let's say you accidentally click off of it, just go up one or two in your uh, history there and try again. Okay. Now let's zoom out. And there's our different colored cars. To complete this 100%, click on your text tool, click on black, then click right underneath that car and type original color. That way I know that you changed the color. Click OK. Click on the move tool, move it underneath there. And in a previous lesson, you created your uh, personal logo. What we're going to do on this one is we're going to actually just remake the logo by clicking on this button right here. It says New Layer. So click on New Layer. And using your Paint tool, 
go ahead and load your brushes that you used. I used Atlantis. That should load in a second. Click add. And I, I don't know, I'll just make a new one because I think they're cool. Click over here. Mine was blue. Bam. Right? Now don't freak out. It's not, it's on this layer. It's just on top of all the other things. So if I click the move tool, you see it moves around. And then click on the text tool. Type your name. Play around with the fonts if you want. And stick around, hang tight. We're not finished with this. In another lesson, I'll show you how to use your original one that you made. Click OK. All right. So when you when you type, a new layer is created. But we created a new layer just to paint. What we're going to do is click on our name. If we did our name first and it's out of order like this, check this out. You just click and drag the layers on top of each other. So your name should be on top of the layer where you just painted. What you're going to do is right click on that layer and merge down. Okay. And then this button right here, this toggle layer settings, click on that. And bring the opacity down to 50. Where's 50? Actually, do like 30. There we go. So you just kind of added a watermark to your image. And now we're going to save this. Go to File, File, Save your first and last name. You can leave it on JPEG. Click OK. Save it to the Pictures folder. Save. Okay. And then uh, what you're going to do with that image is go to your pixel work, create your slide, title it color replace, go to insert image, choose an image to upload, find your image, there it is, open. And resize it as needed. Uh, okay. And go to your drive and upload your upload your work. Always upload your work to your drive. So go to new, file upload, find your image, open it, okay. and make sure it's make sure it's there by clicking on recent. There it is. Okay. And then that's what you'll send on Edmodo. Send me. Send me your, just your finished image. You don't have to take a screenshot of this. Um, I'll, I'm going to get your your Google slide later on. Okay. Now, next, you're going to add a new slide. And you're going to have some fun with the, the brushes. So check this out. Okay. Find another vehicle. Find another car. And what I want you to do is you're going to do this, uh, I want you to do this three times. You're going to find three different vehicles, and they're going to be all different colors. But on the vehicle, what I want you to do is, let's see, is this the right layer? Oops. On the vehicle, what you're going to do is, oh, I'm going back, layer order. Okay, that's the one I want. Use the paintbrush, but use one of the cool brushes. So, for example, what if I wanted this pattern on it? Let me change the diameter. And I did something like that. Wait, no, my bad. I was on the paintbrush. I need to be on the color replace. And then change the brush tool. There we go. Let's move this down. So check this out. It's like, what if I did something like that? Or... There's even cool brushes. If I go to more, go to cracks, add. So I want you to get creative with this. Be as creative as you can be. See that? How cool is that? Okay. Do that to three vehicles and add them. Add those vehicles um, to separate slides. 
Okay. Awesome. Thanks for sticking around for that whole video. And uh, if you get stuck or have any problems, let me know.